Hey guys, it has been a long time since I've done a YouTube kind of exclusive video and I think the best video to start off with coming back is a review of the Super Mario Bros. 3 Any% percent Warpless Task. With me coming back to the Warpless speedrun trying to grind down for that 49 minute run, I want to see everything that the task does and I want to see if I'm able to do any of it. Okay, so let's get started. This will be the Warpless speedrun so there's not going to be any wrong warps, but you also don't have to do all the levels. so. I can press start as fast as the tool assisted runner, so I'm already good to go. All right, let's see how they do level one. All right, doesn't get that mushroom, went right through that block. That's fantastic, can't do that. I mean, I can go through the blocks, but he just went through another block. So when you go through the blocks like that, it kind of like pushes you a couple pixels, maybe one pixel, I don't know the exact amount, but the idea is that the block pushes you forward. So the, the task runner is gonna want to clip in as many blocks as they can, that's gonna save them time. And I think we all know this level. Anytime your feet meet any form of resistance on the ground, you actually start going slower. So when you're in this position, you want to do a single frame jump on the ground every time you jump. And I can do that. I just can't do it perfectly. It's like impossible. Um, alongside of everything else that's happening, the tool assisted runner is also setting it up so that every time they finish the level, the Hammer Brother does the most optimal amounts of movements which is what you want to see. Bunch of clips through the blocks there, made it crazy fast, kept the speed, and landed right on the warp whistle. That is ridiculous. I can't do it like that. So far, the task would already be beating me in an RTA run, and we're three levels in. I can do that, yes. There's one thing that I can do. A couple of these jumps, it looks like I'm playing. And then I think here comes the famous tunnel. Boom, right in there. See how fast they snap the tunnel, can't. That's crazy. That's like a single frame turn back. I don't even know how they do that. It's crazy. All right, so world one is looking fantastic. Getting all movements of one so far. Yep, that's what it is, all movements of one. So it's not shown in this task, but in the 100% tool assisted speedrun, which is older, or sorry, which is more new than this one, they actually found a way to get early P speed in this level. So in the warpless task, it's not shown, but in the 100% one it is. And then the Hammer Brother moves. So for anyone who doesn't know, the Fire Flower in the Hammer Brother level only spawns based on where the Hammer Brother's position is on the overworld map, of course. If that Hammer Brother was one space to the right, that Fire Flower wouldn't be there. All right, guys, the beauty of watching playbacks. We get to actually fast forward useless parts. I love it. I love watching videos on YouTube because we can always just fast forward. But we have to watch all the fun stuff that the Tool Assist Speedrunner does here because I cannot, I'm going to guess that he gets all the lives here or as many as they, oh my God, the ball jumps. <laughs> so many like I I don't even think I've tried to do that before to be honest. Oh the bouncing one up block Okay, so the hundred percent speed run also gets a clip in this airship Oh jumps up top off screen one grab boom go ahead and just rewind that just for a second here so the way the off-screen wand grab works is you have to actually jump into the wall and then you jump up top to the top right and you can stand there so right when he jumps up right there he, there's a there's a ledge for you to stand on so it's actually it's actually pretty easy once you get the wall jump you're good however the ground in this battle is so low as you can see the ground is so low here if I did a wall jump, I wouldn't be able to make it up there at all. So the way you have to do an off-screen wand grab when the floor is this low is you have to bounce off the Koopa Kid right here. Boom. And then you get enough height. And that's just ridiculous. And that's why that's why I don't go for off-screen wand grab in World 1. So the task is already probably close to like 10 seconds ahead at this point. Which is absolutely ridiculous, but still pretty cool. Um, there's not anything in the there's not anything in World One that has surprised me yet. There's nothing that I don't that I don't already know about. Um, I choose not to go for the off-screen wand grab. I could try and bounce off the enemy, save that four four and a half seconds, but I don't think it's really worth the time messing it up and stuff like that. 
All right, 2-1. So there's, there's something in this game called the stutter step where if Mario turns back for one frame and then turns back to the right, the next frame, you can minimize the amount of distance you need on the ground to build your P-Speed. It's, it's a weird little P-Speed manipulation. It's like knowing which frame and, and since we have no idea what frame we're on, like us RTA guys, we can't really do it. That P-Speed strategy right here is is a legitimate thing we can do it i have seen a lot of rta runners do it and try it before definitely viable the only problem is is that it doesn't work all the time so you're already resetting all the time and when you get here you'd have to reset even more so it it, it saves a good chunk of time it's almost two seconds but it's not worth the amount of resets it'll cause you because it won't always work it's really weird Okay, so you might be asking, why did he get a tail here? What's going on? I'm going to guess it's because he... Yep. RTA... I can't do this. I've done this before. In one line. Like, I've I've gotten the clip and then... Pfft, that is so ridiculous, man. That is... That is crazy. I've done it once. I would never do it in a run. How the heck would I do it in a run? That's crazy. Nailed it. It is faster, though. It is faster to do that. Which is... Which is crazy. It's, 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 sorry, I just like got lost in my thought. So, I, you guys know what this is right here. The, the very famous early hammer without dying. So, essentially the hammer brothers got stuck on top of each other. They didn't know where to go. So then they just came over here and it allows you to get the hammer early and break that rock. Recently, in the, over the past, what, I think two years, the early hammer manipulation was discovered and it allows us to pretty much get that early hammer scenario but it's very difficult we don't normally have the tail here the rta guys don't normally have the tail here so oh my god dude what just even happened there he like down tail swipe jump tail i can't do that <laughs> there are some things that are really hard that i can say i've done once i've never done that before all right, well, there goes World 2. That was that was insane. That early hammer really helps you get through World 2 extremely fast. It almost makes it one of the shortest worlds in the game. Lucky fast forwards here. I love it. I love it. Now, because he has the tail, I think he's going to do a lot of flip flapping. So let's, let's take a look and see with all the bouncing. I've never really tried. I'm sure some of you out there have definitely tried. You can tell me a story in the comments below if you guys have ever... Uh, um, been able to generate a couple lives by by doing these bouncies. I'm sure I've tried it before. I don't think I'm very good at it. Maybe if I practice. Oh my god, that tail swipe so scary. So I think he's gonna get the fire flower here. That where's he go? What? How did he go down there? That's crazy, dude. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna die there. Obviously he doesn't dive, and that's why it tricked me. Cool, so he gets P-Speed here, I'm guessing, so that he can clip. There's an invisible wall that prevents Mario from walking forward anymore, but if you clip, you can bypass right there. You see how close he is to the edge of the screen? Yep, yeah. that saves. It's all about those frames. And then, of course, the off-screen wand grab. Now, this is the off-screen wand grab that some of you might have seen me do before in runs. I've done it many, many times. It's very possible. Still difficult, though. Still very, very difficult. That boss, he didn't know what happened to him. He just got a bunch of fire in the face, and that was it. Oh, we get to... Yay! That's what I love about watching playbacks. We just get to skip the stuff we don't need to watch. All right. So, the first frame jump. Yep, we definitely do that in our runs. We can do that. Normal swimming here. You jump up. I think this level is probably the closest to RTA viable. Okay, we don't even shoot him. Maybe I should look into that, guys. Maybe I should check and see if shooting him gets rid of a lag frame. I have to admit, I've never practiced 3-1 before. It's one of those levels that you just don't think about uh, practicing at all. All right, so you get the movement of one, of course. Keep in mind that the hammer... Well, we don't do this. Oh, that is faster than what we do. Definitely. And shoots all of them and despawns the plant so we don't have to wait. That's actually really good. Nice. So, I don't think RTA runners need to do the level like that. 
Um, I think what we do is fine. It's very consistent. That's the hardest part about what we do is the consistency. So I think that's pretty good. Right on. No need to shoot him, luckily. So this is still pretty casual, pretty normal. The block clip, two block clips there. <laughs> he jumped in the water just for... Oh, and the other block clip. That's crazy. And then the single... Yep, yeah, perfect single frame jump to get through there. So... That was pretty close to being just as fast as RTA. The only problem is, is that the task was able to clip in some of the blocks. So you get that little frame push. Little frame pushes. Little pixel pushes, right? Right there. See how the pixel? It's crazy. And the famous door three. Spam your door threes. But if you go back and notice, not only did he go through the third door, but you can see as he entered the door again he also jumped as well so that was two single frame inputs one after the other we don't do that because it's hard enough getting the up input but being able to jump as you go through the door allows them to see keep those jumps and keep that momentum we definitely don't do that swag wall jump always got to go for the swag wall jumps of course all right so i think very very interesting setup right here um, if I remember correctly that oh go for the hill swag so this the speed of sliding down the hill is faster than P speed so any chance that the task gets will take it I had no idea stopping on the hill was faster but I think the task is manipulating the hammer brother movements to do what you're about to see here That is perfect right there. So what that means is now he can cross the bridge. Oh my gosh. It impossible. Impossible to get P speed here. RTA guys will not look at this. Watch this again. Watch the P speed. Look at <laughs> What? No, there's no way we could do that. It's that's impossible. Impossible. Maybe in a thousand years. Probably not though. Anyways, as a oh look, swag sixty nine. You guys see it? The swag sixty nine. It's right. Oh, you can't see it. My hand gets cut off. But this, we got the swag sixty nine. Let's go. So he was able to cross the bridge because he hasn't fought any hammer brothers yet. And also, the second hammer brother is stuck between two levels, uh, a spade game and a beaten level, so he can't move. So watch, I'm moving to zero right here. Yeah. So he's gonna get two movements to zero. So this is an incredibly fast world three. H jump, H jump, and clips through, what? Okay, so here's something really interesting. He has P speed, right? Still has P speed, goes in the pipe, watch, keeps P speed, boom. That's That would save a good chunk of time on RTA. The only problem is, is I've managed to keep P speed in the pipe while I'm in the water, but my P speed never lasts. I get like halfway there and my P speed runs out. I don't know how to keep it. So unfortunately, we won't be able to save. That would that would save a solid second, probably. Keeping that P-speed there, for sure. Alright, we got the World 3 airship. Let's see if any swag -a lag is going to be going on. Totally unnecessary. But I think he had to wait. I think these 1-ups are doable. I think a lot of us can, can probably do those 1-ups. I can see them being doable. Oh my god. Cut it close enough. Oh, the swag wall jump. Oh, I thought he was going to get the leaf. These ones, this would probably be pretty easy too to get a couple one-ups. You guys remember when we were little, like how scarce one-ups were? Like if I had three lives left, I thought I was like a bad player. But if I had like 50 lives, I thought I was better. That You know what I mean? <laughs> the lives were used to be so important. All right. Swag wall jumps, going through. Oh, did that P-speed thing. Is he going to do a clip here to save... Yep, right on. It's pretty cool. Oh, you remember how remember how the floor is lower here, so you can't do the off-screen wand grab without getting a boost off the enemy. And if I rewind just a little bit, you guys can see right there. Get the boost and wall jump. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, we get to do the. Now, technically, this game is a play, so that is the original Mario sitting in the king's chair. World 3 is designed around 
the castle being in the headquarters of Nintendo in Japan. The islands look like they're Japan. Also, for anyone who doesn't know, World 4 is shaped like a turtle. Look. Hey, it's a turtle. You can see his head. It's got his two eyes. This P-Speed is incredibly difficult, although RTA runners can successfully do it. However, the stress and struggle it takes is not worth the amount of time it saves. It doesn't save enough time, so sadly, you won't see that strategy in RTA. But there's only a few things so far in the run that I could really pick out of the tasks that we could do. We can't get consistent at clipping through blocks and saving pixels. We can't get consistent at the stutter step. Um, I've tried this P-Speed. I've gotten maybe close once. I tried it a lot with Haxer one time when he was down, but never, we never be able to got it. We never got it. We tried, I think, for four hours. We didn't get it once. That's not so bad. So there are definitely things that you can pick and choose in the run. Like, definitely 4-1 is for sure some things that you can try, but it's going to be hard. Good Hammer Brother movements here. Right on. The, the chest will appear on the opposite side of the screen that Mario's on, so you want to kind of, like, wait for the chest to start to spawn a little bit, then start to run over so that it's guaranteed to be on the, uh, the other side. Oh, look, that looks exactly like RTA. We're so good. And then now he does all these weird jumps. And it's not RTA anymore. <laughs> Utilizing all the hills. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'd say maybe about 6% of this level looked RTA-able. <laughs> yeah. The fact that Mario was on the screen is what made it RTA. Is that Mario was there. So because he got the early hammer, he can't use the hammer here to skip this fortress. So the task is going to have to do this fortress. So when you think about it, the early hammer, you get to skip level three, the sun level and level five in world two. However, you have to do an extra level in world four. So really you only skip two levels. Um, a lot of people forget that the early hammers, oh, it skips three levels is so much time. It really only skips two levels, but that is an extremely fast fortress. So it's pretty good. All right, this is definitely what we do, yeah. <laughs> There's a new strategy for RTA runners to duck, do a duck input, and when they land in the water, they can instantly jump. They get a free jump out of the water, like, as long as you're holding jump. And uh, the task doesn't even need to do that. If we don't do that duck into the water and jump out, we'll get hit by the Lakitu. So we have to do, we have to do the whole strategy, like, a completely different way. Nice. So when the Hammer Brother is on a screen transition, you get one free input. So because the Hammer Brother was on the one space where the screen transitions, he was able to hold up. It's it's a simple, you just hold the direction. You don't have to press anything. You just, you press left, the screen transitions, quickly go to up, and then you'll skip the Hammer Brother. Easy peasy. He did that because he doesn't need any more Hammer Brothers. Doesn't need any of them. And he's just going to get movements of one, which is perfect. And so I have been working on a new P speed strategy. And let me tell you, I can, I can get P speed right here. This is my new P speed spot. I can get P speed right here. Whereas the TAS will get P speed, I think near the top block of the stairs. Let's take a look right here. So I'm kind of close to the TAS, but because we can't do the stutter step, I can't actually get uh, P speed on this top platform, sadly, but I've developed my own way of being able to find, uh, P speed in a different spot which is still faster than the average the average p speed normally you try and manipulate the p meter get a side jump off the dry bones and then we're good to go right on world four was crazy with skipping the hammer brothers doing the fortresses really fast in the levels i will say though in world four there really isn't anything too crazy in the task nothing too insane you know what we get to do that's right Nobody likes this. I, I love you, Mr. Taskman, but I don't love the slow auto-scroller. So luckily, we get to fast-forward this. We get to watch the battle. So in this battle, you don't actually need... You don't need to use the enemy because this, the platforms are high enough where you can jump off them, which is pretty good. Pretty good. All right, now we can fast-forward this, go straight into World 1. Now, here is... Oh my god, he built that P-Speed so- What? And then he goes- <laughs> I totally forgot about that! 
that's faster, but there's no way I'm doing that. There's no way that that's even possible. That's cool, the wall jump there. Big Mario wall jumps are really hard. We RTA guys have known about that for a while, but we're not going to do that. P-Speed strategy here actually only saves a couple frames. A couple frames on top of um, doing the slide strat. So that's not too bad. It's pretty good. All right, so... doesn't He doesn't have a music box. He, well, he has, sorry, he has the music box that he gets from the world, but I don't think he's going to get the next one in this world. The tool-assisted speedrun gets less P-wings than the RTA runners because they can do uh, some certain tricks that we can. That force is really cool. If you guys notice, there's a jump at the beginning of the level right here that we don't do. Right there. Look at look at his feet. Look 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 at his feet. Like they're they're not even on the ledge. But watch, he'll just go up. Yeah, like put like pull them up. Man, where's my ledge assist? Right. So we don't go for that jump because it's really difficult. And if you miss that jump at the start, you'll die. And the run's over. And anyone who's watching this, who's watched a lot of Mario three streams, knows that getting to world five, it's a big deal, especially on world record pace. You don't fuck around with world five world record pace all right twisty castle now i talk about this on my stream a lot and i have not mentioned it on youtube before but the twisty castle actually isn't a level in 100 percent speed runs if you could skip this level any way you possibly could you would still be it would still be an, an official 100 percent run um the twisty castle is just one big pipe transition i'm sure a lot of you guys already know that and I do, I do talk about it a lot, but I find it so interesting that it's not an actual level. It's just a pipe transition. Hammer Brothers don't move whenever you complete it, and there's no end card. So it's not even a level. It's the exact same as a pipe. 283 is incredibly difficult as well. So there's a boost here that gets a boost off the platforms. Then you can travel really fast, get a midair jump, do some duck jumps. And we're in there. Right on. And then you get the... That jump is really hard to get that side uh, vertical pipe jump. Very, very difficult. Or, sorry, horizontal. My bad. Movements of one. Must be nice. The, dude, the, the task saves so much time on us simply by getting all movements of one. All optimal movements of one. The entire game with every hammer, brother. That is... We just don't get that. RTA runners just don't get that. Oh, he's got 22 coins. That level was pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty close to doing it like that. There's a lot of swag shots and stuff like that. This level's hard to do without a turn back at the start. See how he just he just went forward and jumped? He's getting the block clips too. Very nice. Oh, all the block clips. Because it boosts you like a pixel, right? It boosts, it boosts you a little bit. So it's insane. Okay, yeah, so he doesn't need the music box, I guess. Ah, the famous Jesus clip. Good old Jesus clip. So this probably saves a little close to three seconds. I think maybe a little bit more than three seconds. It's really good, really, really good time save. Um, the only problem is, is that if you don't nail it, you die. That's it. If you don't get it, you're dead. <laughs> Look, they decided to put one window in the battle. Just one window. They're like, yeah. We'll do, we'll do the window here. That was a really fast P-Speed build. That that P-Speed build in comparison to RTA Runners was so fast that it probably saved a good close 0.5 seconds. And that is so hard to come across in some levels, right? The the the, the tool assisted speedruns are crazily, you know, they're crazy impressive, but so are the RTA runs with what we've established as consistencies. And he menued so fast I didn't even see the item. Who needs to see what item you're selecting when you just move so incredibly fast? Alright. So, didn't fight a single Hammer Brother, but use this, use this music box. So, I'm wondering... I'm wondering what the task is going to do. With, remember at the end of World 7, there's a Piranha Plant there that we put to sleep. He's not going to do that battle, is he? There's no way that the Piranha Plant's faster than a Hammer Brother battle. 
Because I know he only has one music box and he already used it. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm very curious now to see. If this airship would hurry up, move your ass. I can do that too, I just don't want to, you know? Just didn't, I don't feel like it. I don't feel well today. <laughs> Maybe one day. Beep, 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 beep. Look at it, it's a frenzy in here. Bowser was like, yeah, just oh, as many cannonballs as you guys can, just, just let it go. But no enemies on the ship though, no. No enemies, just cannonballs. Nice. Yeah, I have definitely done this wall jump before. In the warpless run, though, for RTA runners, because we use a cloud and then we skip the last level, it's actually really hard to get a good optimal um, fire kill. Oop. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I really like World 6. I like the music. I like the look. Anytime I make a ROM hack and I have an ice world in it, I n I'm never happy with the way my ice land looks. I'm never happy with it. It's... It might be because I'm comparing myself to Nintendo, which I think is an unfair comparison. These guys are geniuses. Look at them. All right, hammer. So, oh wait, he has another music box. Where did he get the second music box? Where did he get the second? Did he get it from World 2? Well, we have to go back and quickly look. Did he get it from World 2? Maybe he did. No, he didn't because they switched. Right? Where did he get the extra music? I'm going crazy. Where There's only... <gasps> oh, he got them... Ah, he got the music in 5-1 right here, remember? With the secret and then the music bot. There it is. Oh my god, I just... That just blew my mind, man. That just blew my mind. Let's go back to the beginning of World 6. Oh my goodness. Mind blown right there, guys. Well, too bad we can't go down there, man, because... Well, that's unfortunate. I'd really like to have that music box. Damn. Tool Assisted is so good that I can't even keep track in the run. Yeah, I probably could. A P-Wing in this level is not optimal for RTA runners. We do not have an extra P-Wing, unfortunately. So sadly, we cannot. <sighs> Dude, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We're definitely not big here either. That would make that so so much easier or sorry so that would make that so much harder insane man insane all right how do you do this level big because there's all those little small pockets gets the piece speed doesn't hit the p switch ah that makes so much more sense okay that makes a lot of sense. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe I should look into not hitting the P-Switch. Although I don't think the P-Switch causes any lag or anything. So maybe that's not too bad. Oh, look at this. So that's why they have an extra P-Wing. We would... RTA runners can't do this. This is impossible. Look at this. What? <laughs> I would love to be able to do that. I would love that, but we can't do that. Look, just look one more time. Watch, just watch the P meter. Look at how perfect. It's a perfect manipulation. Just builds one arrow every time. Just goes back one arrow every time, taking it easy. Right, then finally gets the P speed and then does the clip. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we normally do level five where we use the P wing, despawn the nippers. And everyone's like, where? There's supposed to be two there. So, it's pretty good. But we can't do that, sadly. So, we, we don't get that free time save. And we don't we don't have an extra P-Wing to use here. And a P-Wing here would actually be faster. We would like to use a P-Wing here, but we don't have an extra one. Look at that. That's so beautiful. I've definitely done that in practice before and played around with it. 
this level just goes by nice and quick. It's 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 a good chunk faster. Solid couple seconds. But every level we use a P-Wing in is we have to. Skip a level, go over a level. Uh... We don't have to use a P-Wing in level 5, but then you'd have to clip. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. The tail swipes to P-Speed. Oh, and then the hill, yeah. Oh, yeah. The hill strats. Yeah. So the task is pressing jump every single frame that they land on the ground the first frame so that they don't lose any speed. So they get to actually keep the speed the whole time, which is incredibly difficult for us. All right. Normally, we would do level 9 because it's so fast and we could skip it. But look at what the task can do. Yay! <laughs> oh my... Look at... What? You have to single frame grab... We can't do that stuff. That's impossible. In my wildest dreams, I might be able to do half of that thing. It's only half. In my, even in my dreams, my brain's like, no, it's overload. Alright, so I'm guessing here comes the famous clip. That saves like eight seconds in this world. And if you can nail it, you skip the elevator section. And it's right there. Yep. The elevator takes you right here, and we skip. You'd skip the whole elevator, right? The elevator is like a mini auto scroller. And yeah, that's. Gosh, that's a big time save. Karua actually got that once in one of his world records. And in one of my previous world records, I think maybe in the 52 range, I managed to get that. And it's just. Yeah, you gotta get the good luck. All right, World Six Airship. So, I mean, there there might be a few things that I could take from this. Um, from this, maybe I could go back and take a look at that World Three Level Nine keeping P speed in the water strategy. But that that again would require another frame perfect uh, block grab. <clears throat> we always have door three. We don't do door three in RTA speedruns because that's a heavy reset, but it's only a single frame trick. There's no RNG to it, right? So the more control you have of your tricks, I think the better at the end of the day, right? Uh, let's see. What else? Um, world world five, maybe, maybe do something weird to look into grabbing that music box. Grabbing that music box inevitably would save you time on having to grab, you know, the music box and the hammer. Sorry, I'm just paying. Yeah, it gets the jump off. Hold on, let me see. Did he jump off of his head and get it? Not a ball? Maybe our TA guys could do that. And he lets him walk a little bit too, right? Because in in Warpless, we don't have fire. We just stomp on him. So I'm already stomping on him. So why not, right? All right, let's go to World 7. I think we all know what's going to happen here. Never done that before. That's like the hardest trick. I'm just kidding. It's not hard at all. All right, 7-2. So, we can't really follow this guideline because we don't really normally get 610 Fire Flower. Um, boy, that was a fast P-Speed grab. Yeah, if we had Fire Flower here, we would be able to do our quick strategies. But the only problem is, is that we don't go for 610. We do the 69. That's right. We go for the 69s. Not bad, not bad. World 7 is filled with a lot of pipe transitions. There you go. Perfect. Next level. I'm pro I'm a professional. Press on the forward arrow key. Gotta skip those five seconds. I hear a lot of people like to watch YouTube with, um, with uh, additional speed now. People were telling me about that. Instead of instead of using the arrow keys to fast forward, they just put the video. Um, not I don't want to say double speed. I feel like that would be a little too quick. 125% I think is the next option. So you use a P-Wing. This Look at this. All off screen. I gave it my best, guys. I tried so hard. So we created a ROM 
where you can actually see the screen travels up with you and you can watch what you're doing. I still can't do it. I still can't do it. It's everything perfect. Speed perfect, position perfect, flight perfect, pressing your A's perfect, pressing your down. It's, it's just impossible. And that saves a lot of time because we save a cloud for that level, right? We cloud of that level. If we could use a P-Wing there... So not needed. I don't even know if that saved time. Unbelievable. But pretty cool, I guess. Maybe that was just pure swag. Nice. Another little wall clip. Always with the wall clips. Get the piece beat early with the stutter step we talked about earlier. That's pretty good. Yep. If we could save that cloud from 7-4 and, and P-Wing and use that, we'd have an additional cloud. That would just completely lower the whole bar for Warpless. And, of course, it wouldn't be Warpless without this. But you think, but Mitch, that's only in 100%. Why isn't it Warpless? It's true. This is actually not that big of a time save in Warpless. It's maybe like seven, seven or eight seconds, which for RTA runners, it's not worth it because that's... That trick barely ever works. And guess what's next? <laughs> I'm currently working on some kind of manipulation that only abides to how I play. I don't think there's ever gonna be a manipulation that guarantees everyone a fair chance at all four clips, but I think people can get comfortable with the way they do things consistently and develop their own method. Look at that, Del oh, I love that combo. Cloud music box, I'm out of the world, let's go. Um, but yeah, with 7-9, I think, I think everyone separately can develop their own manipulation for that level. They just have to find out what works and what's giving them the clips based on the movements they're doing consistently. And I think, um, I think a manipulation would be different for everyone or people would get used to one person's manipulation and find that it's most comfortable for them so and he definitely just went through the fire there did you guys see that right through the fire let's see that one more time just just to be sure we're actually seeing what we're seeing right through the fire all right then. yeah maybe i'll try going through the fire maybe i don't think so though all right, he looks like he's having fun. This airship is actually longer than the World 4 airship, so we're going to go ahead and... Look at how long it is. God, we all hate the airships. All right, cool. He got here so fast. Nice fire kill, and... Yep. So the, the TAS was able to get <clears throat> an off-screen wand grab for every single world. And the interesting thing about that is that off-screen wand grab saves close to four seconds, which is a lot. That's so much for RTA runners. And that's four seconds for seven worlds. So when a lot of people ask, like, how is the task so much faster than RTA? Like, it's stuff like that. We are lucky to maybe get one off-screen. There's only, like, two people in the world who actually try off-screen wand grab. Maybe three, maybe four. And that's not saying if they actually get it, right? So it's... So there's the big time saves, all the clips. Look at it, he's stuck. Wait, can he get out of here? Dude, I want to try and get in there. This looks so easy. This makes this level like so, so nothing. Yeah, and then he just clipped right through. Dude, that's fantastic. I kind of want to try that. I kind of want to try and clip under there. It's like my own gay baby jail, right? To get my own little jail. What? He, like, went through the wrench right there. That's crazy. So, if you guys if you guys can, I want you to write in the comments what you like more. Uh, Tank Brigade 1, the Navy, the Air Force, or Tank Brigade 2? This is the four tank auto-scrollers in this world. If you remember, or if you have one that's your favorite, definitely type it in the comments below, because I want to hear. Because I have a favorite one. And it's not the navy with the with the chocolate with the chocolate water, the chocolate milk, whatever you guys want to call it. The nest the nest quick dangerous. And it's not tank brigade one. I actually like the the navy. Or sorry, not the I just said I didn't like that. I like the air force. 
the Air Force is the fast auto scroller um, after the hands. Um, and what's really cool about that level, and the only reason why they put that level in one time and in World 8 is because by changing the scroll speed of the level, it actually changed the way Mario's momentum works. So they use that to their benefit as a form of difficulty in the later worlds. If if they did that in any other level, it would actually kind of change the way Mario is controlled. And that's why it's so hard. That's why we all struggle on the Air Force so much is because the way your momentum works with like left and right and like how you how you generate it and keep it changes in that level because of the scroll speed. It like messes with it. It, it messes up the way Mario works. And those little sneaky devils used it to their advantage. I think it was a gamble on their part. I think there were some people at the office that were like, we shouldn't do that because Mario's controlled differently. But I guess people were like, nah, whatever. It'll make it difficult. It's so short, too. It's, if you if you don't put that extra scroll speed on the Air Force and then you look at the level as a whole, like if you stand back and you look at the whole map, it's like the most basic, easy level. It's a bunch of wrench guys with single platforms. Like, that's all it is. There's no... I don't think there's any cannons or anything. And the Navy. So what do you guys call this? Chocolate water? Chocolate milk? What is, like, I hear people call it different things. Oh, and yes, he was just air walking. And he's in the air. <laughs> Look at that. Like, what? How is that even a thing? Will he get one last clip? Oh, wait. Hold on. We gotta get some one-ups first. Oh, he doesn't get... Oh. I, d I gotta stop guessing, as if I might be able to figure out what the task is doing. Imagine you could bring a bomb with you through the pipe, and then you could get you could get the boom boom. Sadly, you can't. Now, this is warpless. A lot of people are like, well, what about hammer suit? For RTA, for the task, the hammer suit is not faster. Almost, but not. I want so bad. I want to be able to do that so bad. So I don't know if you guys can tell just by looking that Mario's, the way he's controlled is slightly different. The way he moves and all that stuff. It's hard to tell. It's easy to feel. Hard to see, easy to feel. Um, but yeah, if you've ever wondered why you struggle so much on this level, that is probably one of the main reasons. You've gotten so used to the way Mario controls and then they juke you here. They debate you. I don't think he actually clips at the end to, to save those frames. All the stuff he's doing in this level right now is just for swag. It's not... He's not going any faster. If you're wondering why he's clipping or anything like that, it doesn't really... doesn't really make much of a difference. Yeah, and there's no clip in this one. But I think it's P-Speed to... No, okay. Dude, he cuts it so close there. I don't even want to try and run that close to the bosses. It's so dangerous. Alright. I love this level. I love 8-1. I think it's one of the most perfect levels. Alright. Beautiful P-Speed. Beautiful turnbacks. I'm pretty sure he's killed everything in this level, didn't he? Did he just kill everything in the level? Let's see. Yup. Killed. You can't kill ghosts with fire, fire flower. He actually just killed everything. I, I think maybe one thing needed to die. Oh, okay, maybe like four things needed to die in that. Not everything. Look at those fireballs go. Whee! This is cool. <laughs> right through. I've tried that before, and you have to get the right. You have to get some kind of right pixels or something. I don't know what it is, but it, it doesn't work that easy. You can't just pop up through the music note. Clouds the Fortress, because he did the, uh, the previous level. So, because he didn't need a P-Wing on 7-4, and he didn't need, um, or he didn't need a Cloud on 7-4, used the P-Wing on so, uh, some other levels that he was able to, that means, um... He was able to cloud over the two longest fortresses, which is World 7 Fort 2 and World 8 Fort. Oh my god, I gotta try this. This looks... 
It looks stress-free, is what I want to say. It's just like, you're not... What the heck was that? Look at Mario. Are you okay there, Mario? What? He's, he's like running through them. You'd think he's ducking so fast. But like, aren't the hitboxes on the wrenches big? Anytime I get near one, I get rocked. And he definitely just went through that cannonball as well. I don't understand the cannonball hitboxes. They're so strange, man. They make like no sense. Nice. There's this weird spot where if you pop on one of the bombs, it like, when it kills objects, it gives you a one-up. It makes no sense. It's cool. It's really cool. Mario 3's got all these really cool, weird things. All right. 45 lives. Okay, so they use a star here to do a trick. Um, right here. And it allows them to kill the thwomp and then be able to have your fire flower. In the any percent no wrong warp, we actually do that to get the world record. Uh, we don't do it as efficiently like that. But we have to delay a couple seconds to like get the wall jump. But it's, it's insane. Well, see you later, Bowser. We don't kill Bowser like that. That would be really difficult to kill Bowser like that, especially on world record pace. You're like hearts pumping. You're like, oh my god, what's happening? Yeah, that would be that would be way too hard. But hey, nonetheless, that <laughs> I like to do that too. All right, Peach, we saved you in a insane amount of time. Now hold on, I just want to check something. The runtime is forty six twenty. I thought the tool assisted speedrunner. Ah, oh, they had the chance. They have 45 lives and 57 coins. I thought they were going to get 46 lives and 20 coins. That would have been pretty cool, right? That would have been pretty cool. They should have done that. They should have. They definitely should have done that. That concludes the task. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to it and talk about some of the things that are going on. There might be a couple things that I can nitpick from this. Probably not uh, right away. Uh, RTA runners really, really utilize everything that we already do as much as we can. There, there are definitely a couple things that we can take from this task, uh, but not the crazy ones. We can't do 7-4. Uh, we're not going to do 2-2. Two, two. Uh, we're not going to do 6-6. Six, six. You know, we're not going to do... We might do 6-10. I know there is talk about 6-10 as like a saving strat, but... Um, yeah, there's there's there might be some things that we can take from it. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it and uh, we'll see what we, see what I can do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching and um, yeah, have a good day. See you later, guys.